What's up, everyone? Welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for The Walking Dead, Season 4, Episode 15, brought to you by TVCaptive.com. Tonight, Carol confesses to Tyrese, Lizzie takes things a little too far, and Carol has a tough choice to make. But first, I'm your host, Dom, and with me, I have my two co-hosts. Teddy Roosevelt. Yes. <laughs> Hi. I'm Cleo. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and Dubikins. Hi. I'll drink to that. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good. I feel Pretty like Daryl with the sunglasses. I wonder if I should keep them on or not. <laughs> we didn't even see Daryl this episode. I know. In, yeah. this, this is actually going on our third episode in a row now that we haven't even seen Rick. So. Yeah. Yeah. John um, was just saying that it's the longest I think we've gone without seeing Rick. Yeah, not only not seeing Rick, not even mentioning Rick. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So, um, this was a very talked about episode, very emotional episode. I think uh, they they hit some stuff this this particular episode that we haven't seen or heard of or even kind of expected them to go on as far as they did on the TV show. Um, but uh, I don't know. What did you guys think of the whole uh, Lizzie Mika murder suicide thing? Murder suicide? Well, murder murder. I guess well, murder was... murder, but yeah. <laughs> murder murder. Um I was upset for Mika. I was actually really mad. I wanted to off it Lizzie myself. Good thing I didn't. I mean I I <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie did a, a terrible thing. She did. But she didn't realize it either. She doesn't so. understand. Like not no. that she didn't realize it. She knows she knows what she did. She knows the difference she between life and death, but doesn't she, she realize doesn't feel yeah. Yeah, she does not realize that that's <clears throat> the end of her sister. Like, yeah. she she thinks that when she comes back as a zombie, she's still going to be Mika. She doesn't understand that that, that goes away and that that's not yeah. coming back. Yeah. The, so she... I, I didn't... I didn't want Lizzie to die either. It's just like, I don't... I can't... I don't know how to feel. I What do I do with this that you've presented to me? I, I I can't lost ability to can. <laughs> I don't know. My thought was that, you know, Lizzie was, you know, too far gone and in the situation where it was gonna get rougher day by day by day, there was no fixing her at that point. Yeah, there's no there's no mental health counseling. There's no No. That kind of help does not exist in this landscape. No. I don't know, there was a lot of signs and stuff like that. Like she she had kind of a slow de- decline um, leading up to this, but this episode, it just really picked up, like, unbelievably. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we saw a lot of things. She wanted to get bit, um, you know, and then, like we said, we killed her, she killed her sister. She genuinely thought her sister was going to come back. Uh, another really awesome point we got in this episode was we actually got confirmed, uh, or confirmation that, uh, Lizzie was, in fact, the one feeding the rats to the walkers. Yeah. yeah. So, that was huge news, uh, I don't think we were surprised. I think we kind of figured that out. But just to actually get confirmation on that was uh, was nice. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I liked Lizzie as a character. Um. She was dynamic as far as you know being different and unique. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I, I just didn't expect this to be addressed so soon and I didn't expect it to all be wrapped up so soon. Well, the thing is, really, I have, like, what, two more episodes? Yeah, I know, but I... I I, I guess I assumed that they would make it to Terminus and then that would sort of... This, this <clears throat> would sort of manifest and become something that they couldn't contain, but th- it happened very quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they would have got to Terminus, she would have been around other people... Um, the fact is, it wouldn't have been Carol who took care of it then. 
It would have been somebody we don't care about that we just met. And uh, I also didn't expect it to get her 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 disassociativeness to get so violent. I didn't I did not expect that either. Yeah. Yeah, it just it kind of snuck up real fast. But uh, there was that moment when when Tyrese and Carol were were out walking in the field and she's cracking jokes about it, the deer under a buck and whatever that um yeah <laughs> I was like they probably shouldn't have left Lizzie alone with Mika and um Judith, but it wasn't for that reason. I didn't think she me you know I didn't think she was gonna kill Mika or Judith, but uh, I just but if, if a walker back... came or something. I was thinking yeah. if a walker came and they were gone, Lizzie wouldn't do anything, or she might get bit. I, w- I was convinced Lizzie was going to get bit. I didn't think she was going to go as far as kill her sister or- and try to kill Judith. But she, Oh, my God. When she said I was going to do Judith next, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. She was like, I was ready for doing Judith next. And everybody's like, and like, Carol's like, no, no, okay, let's go eat lunch. Okay? She you can't and Tyrese, go, go, go. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> she can't even walk yet. She's like, you got a point. <laughs> oh, she's yeah. supposed to be a walker if she can't even walk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just can't. Yeah, that episode was too much. It was kind of horrible. Yeah, as Hicks says in in chat, uh, I like how things actually happened this episode. It, things went really well by the episode. By the way, the episode, the name I forgot to mention was called The Grove, and um. That's kind of the area that they were in for the, the most part of the episode. But what were you guys thinking when, when Lizzie was standing there just holding the bloody knife? Because you didn't, you saw, you saw Mika's body in the background, but you couldn't really tell with Judith. Uh, no, I'm so, I, Oh, no, I mean... Like, initially. You sort of saw Judith. Sort of. Initially, but... It, it, it actually she wasn't didn't moving. cross my mind that she would hurt Judith. Mm-hmm. I knew as soon as I saw a bloody knife, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God, Mika's dead. Yeah. yeah. It was, it's kind of horrible because Mika was exactly opposite of her sister. She understood what was going on. She was knowledgeable about it, but she was nice. And she wouldn't hurt a fly, whereas Lizzie was bad shit crazy. And she'd shoot for, you know, the blink, like just because somebody blinked kind of thing. Um, she was a tough person when it came to the survival aspect. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it was just, it was really, it made me angry that, you know, her exact opposite was gone and, being that their blood it made me even more angry and <sighs> this is gonna Mika, since Mika was so much like Sophia I think this is cha- gonna change Carol oh. even more I I don't I'm not I don't know what kind of Carol we're gonna see in the future it's probably gonna be like a darker Carol I'm not especially, sure now especially since Tyree is kind of just like all right, you did what you did, but I see why you did it now. I was angry then, but I'm still angry now, but I'll forgive you, but I won't forget. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, If that whole thing didn't go down with with Lizzie and Mika, do you think Carol still would have confessed to Tyrese when she did? I don't think so. Do you think think Tyrese would have had the same reaction? No. If that stuff didn't go down? He probably would have went after Carol, but... No, you see... You know, I don't know. See, because with the girls around, I don't think he would have. Exactly. But he'd be very, very, very irritated and aggravated towards Carol. Yeah. Whenever they had to converse, it would be a snapshot. And he would say something really mean, but he wouldn't act upon it. Yeah, if Carol had told him before, which I don't think she would have done, before the girls had died. It almost seemed like she was going to. There was one moment... That one moment when they're walking through the forest no, after no, they were sitting, during a deer hunt. Were they weren't they sitting at a table? It was no. when it was when uh he was talking to her about Sasha. Karen's death. About how he dreams about her. Yep. And she that says was, that we're not haunted, maybe they're just trying to teach yeah. us a lesson. That was out in the field, they were looking for the deer at the point at that point. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. I thought it was before I don't, that. No. Oh. I don't think she would have told him, though, before the girls died. No. And if she had told them him before the girls died, I think that he would have... Now I... Oh, that's my train of thought. Now I fucking forgot where it was. I think he would have... I don't think he would have been as understanding. I think he would have, Oh, no. Like, he wouldn't have forgiven... Off. That's what it is. He wouldn't have forgiven her. He wouldn't have killed her or hurt her or anything. No. But he would not have forgiven her. No. But now that the girls are dead, I think he's more capable of that forgiveness. Yeah. I don't think 
If it if it was Tyrese going to shoot Lizzie, I don't think he would have been able to do it. He no, Tyrese would not have been able to shoot. No. Lizzie. Yeah, I think I think that whole thing with Lizzie when they kind of both came to an agreement that she had to go. Um, I think that's when he realized Carol was doing things for the right reasons, even though you didn't right. necessarily want to do them. Yeah. So I think that kind of pushed his understanding of the whole situation uh, with uh, yeah. his, his girlfriend and stuff. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I the 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 death with Lizzie, and she's just standing there. Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. Like that's been a big thing. Look at the flowers. Mm-hmm. I'm never gonna be able to look at flowers the same way again. I know for okay. sure. I'm I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, oh look, flowers. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody with a gun nearby. <laughs> Shit. I'll just always be like, hey, do you guys see those those flowers right there? Like. <laughs> Right, right, the ones behind me. I'm not like, the, the, yep, though, yeah. But, uh, I don't, did you guys think Lizzie had any clue that was coming? Like, she, she was crying, she was apologizing to Carol, but I don't think it was for that reason, but I don't know, do you think she had any idea her death was coming? I really don't think she knew. It's hard to say, I mean, it's possible, but it's hard to get inside the head of a character with a mental disability like it's hard to get into the head of a a normal person in real life with a mental disability so i'm not sure we'll ever know yeah it's only the writers can can you get into my head don't want to no but i'm also not (laughs) i was was making a joke about yes yes you may be touched in the head. It's possible. Stuff and things. Stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And then the... We had seen... You guys talked about last week, you talked about the preview for the playing tag and stuff with the walkers, but what did you guys think of the, the whole house in general? Because when I first saw that preview and I'm like, they have working stoves, they like... Do they have a generator? Like, is, is this house running? Uh, like, it's no. a gas stove. They've right. Gas. No, I understand that now, but, like, going into the the episode, what were you expecting for the house? Well, I didn't see that clip. It was, like, so it was, I yeah, it was a gem. A gem in all the crap that was going on. Um, and they were lucky to come across it, but it's too bad they didn't stay there. But, I mean, bad memories. Yeah, Just in that remember. little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I, I, I definitely thought that they were going to have some kind of generator of some sort, um... Because you hear the the music playing, I thought it was playing on a phonograph. Oh. Um, you know, and then you saw the uh, the the stove with the the kettle on it. You know, I, obviously I know it's a gas stove, but just the the combination of the two because it sounded like it was being playing off a phonograph. It did not sound, or you know, it didn't sound like a a track. Like it, it sounded like it had static and stuff to it. it so it it seemed strategically placed to me. So I was expecting them to have some sort of power, but um. I don't know, uh, in the, the, the comics, um, pretty much this entire scene went down almost exactly. Uh, the, the difference here is the characters were, um, uh, Ben and, uh, Billy were, were the two boys in this. They, they weren't two girls. And in the comics, they weren't separated. Uh, they were kind of still with the group or whatever, and everybody's sitting there, they're arguing over what to do next with them. And at that moment, Carl gets sick of the arguing, grabs a gun, and shoots Billy in his sleep, or Ben in his sleep. Um, so Carl was the one that actually executed uh, the little boy. So, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah. So it wasn't Carol, you know, in the, the comics. It was, it was Carl. So I, I was kind of curious how they, or if they were going to do that, because it, it's child murder is, is kind of a... Sensitive, Heavy. yeah. It sensitive is. Subject. It's very touchy. Very touchy. Yeah. So. And I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, I'm sure there is. There's hate for everything. But I was gonna say I'm not sure if the Carol hate is still floating around out there. But I figure if it is, Carol is the apt character to 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 then toss that uh, taboo thing onto. Yeah. So it doesn't like ruin people's 
Um, I don't know. I mean, as far as this this whole series goes, I mean, we've saw Lizzie, you know, actually accelerate in the last few episodes because she was going to smother Judith in that one scene. Yeah, and I and that really inflict like that started a lot of heat on Lizzie, and then you know she, we all know we all we all view pers- perspectively we all view the Walkers as as everyone else does except for Lizzie. So we're all kind of like on Lizzie's case, like, come on, snap out of it, you know, be normal. And then she's not, she's getting worse and worse. And then she murders her sister. Well, so, I, mean, I mean, you can't, but in that vein, you can't go to someone with a mental disability and say, snap out of it. That's never going to work because there's something <laughs> in their brain that makes them unable to think in, I think in it's a just, way that people are tougher on her because of the situation, the whole group, the whole world is in at that point. Basically, you need to be strong. You need to be strong-willed. You need to know what's going on. You need to be normal in the survivor sense. And you can't be like, you can't seem weak like Lizzie is. You can't, you know, sympathize with their enemy. So, I mean, yes, she has a mental disability. And now here, in this time, it would be treated. Or people would try to fix it. But because nobody knows how to fix it, they're tougher on her. And we kind of sink into that reality and, and are tough as well when we're judging the show. Okay, I mean, I've never... What, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I see what you mean. Yeah. No, at first glance, I, I was watching the episode, and when they're all leaving at the very end, they're leaving the farm... I didn't see Judith, and I kind of freaked out. And then they had shown they shown the graves, and they showed the Mika and Lizzie, and then there was like a grave with a baby booty on it, like a bronze baby booty. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, don't even. That, and then I, I freaked out. I thought I thought they buried Judith for some that reason. Grave, that grave was there from the beginning. Right. And I had to go back and I watched the episode a second time because I missed it the first time around. I like I, I was eating or something. Juice. I looked down and I missed. It was a quick shot. Yeah. So yeah, I missed the original gravestone. So Judith, she's actually in a hoodie that um, Tyrese has uh, tied to his back. She's like in a reverse. It's like a I don't know. It's a makeshift baby in, carrier. In a papoose. Yeah, papoose made out of a hoodie. So. Well, see, I I never like you know never thought of you as the kind of like oh my god baby baby where's baby got a guy. <laughs> <laughs> where's the baby dump? <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, that's the cutest, furriest baby I've ever baby. seen. Baby! <laughs> uh, Come on, baby. Like, burp. Burp. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. My baby's asleep. He says hello to the internet what, what, in the other room. What is he doing? <laughs> Good question. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, so... Um, and there was another point in this episode where um, we saw a pillar of smoke. What did, what did you guys think was burning? <laughs> the fucking house. That house. See, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Because um, if you remember when we last saw um, Tyrese, Lizzie, Mika, and, and Carol, they had cross paths where Beth and Daryl were. And you saw the bunnies dissected in the log. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're a lot closer than, than people realize. Why Why do you think they didn't go check the fire out? Because that would attract walkers, and they don't want to fight off that many walkers. Also, it's far enough away now to cause them a threat, and mm-hmm. it's also too far away to care. Yeah. Like, if that would have been out of their way to, to go to a place that's probably not safe. <sighs> See... I don't know, maybe it's just me. I have a different mentality when it comes to that stuff. I would think of it as people were recently here. Um, Maybe they need help. It could also be that it's a a bad group of people. 
Or like Ty- Tyrus immediately just thought of it as like something that happened naturally. Yeah, I think he said lightning or something along lightning. those lines. Lightning, yeah. So it's a lot of risk for yes. something that probably wouldn't pan out. I mean, they have three kids. It's not like they can take that big of a risk. So now, do you think we're seeing these episodes in sequence, or do you think they're kind of all overlapping each other? Sequence-ish. There's, like, there's probably, like, this much overlap, you know? You can't really... They're they're happening at the same, same-ish same time, but kind of different-ish. Because if that's when yeah. they first burned down the house, then that's, like, a day or two before Beth gets captured. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? So yeah, it's, it's at it's, least it's at least twenty four hours. Yeah, so it's sequence ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. So um, how? Okay, I just have to say because I I I fucking cracked up when those burnt zombies came running through the trees. I was laughing so hard. I was like, they're so fucking stupid. I don't know. They, they ran were... into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty cool looking though. They were. Yeah. The prosthetics uh, department on that team, like the, the makeup department and all that, Smoke. they were incredible. Great job. Great job. Like they walked that whole way on fire and like they're still smoking. <laughs> yeah, they were still smoking, weren't they? <laughs> yes, yeah. they were. So it couldn't have been uh, as far away as we thought. No. So. Unless the zombies walked half of the way on fire. It's a possibility, but they're attracted... I, th- I remember somewhere, I don't remember if it was on the Talking Dead or something, that they said that um, the, the zombies with their, um, their, their vision going and stuff like that, they're attracted to the moving fire, and mm, the, the brightness yeah. of it and stuff like that. So you would, think, flame. <laughs> <laughs> you would think that they wouldn't leave the area until the fire was out, if that was the case. True. So... Unless they were caught on fire and they're seeing the flames in front of them and they're just following that. <laughs> yeah. <So>. Wandering <laughs> blindly because they're on fire. Yeah. I mean, that, that's totally a thing. Um, so next week, uh, the episode is called Us. And it says, The survivors rely on brutality and faith. However, some brutal... However brutal, some survivors believe they... Uh, they must be to stay alive. We get to see that faith can sometimes be the strongest survival tool. So, religion of some sort? Um, and that automatically makes me think of either Beth or Maggie because of religion. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean... I don't kinda... remember seeing either of them in the preview. We saw Daryl no. in the yeah, preview, Yeah, Daryl. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of uh, Beth's faith rubbed off on Daryl. Daryl and Rick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we do get to see Rick again, but, uh, yeah, um, that that's totally, like... They're, they're talking about Beth being, um, the, the, there was a p- clip on the, the Talking Dead where they were talking about, um, how Daryl, one of the hunters was alone with Daryl in the woods. Daryl had caught, like, a rabbit or a pheasant or something, I forget. He had some, some kind of food. And, um, he's like, you have to share that. And, uh, he's, uh, oh, that, what is that girl got you clouded, that fine piece of ass or whatever. And then you see, like, Daryl, the look on his face, just like. And he goes and he grabs his knife out of his holster and the clip ended. But yeah, so I could definitely see some of the religion kind of stuff maybe rubbing off on, on Daryl um, him him taking that with him. So. so in that clip, I mean, we assume that that band of people that Daryl found had no idea about Beth unless Daryl told them. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's my assumption, but. See, do you guys think now, because you were talking about, do you think Lizzie drove away, or do you think she was kidnapped? You mean, you mean Beth? Or Le- Beth, Lizzie. We got Lizzie I on mean, the brain. I, no, I totally I think cannot, she's kidnapped. She must have been kidnapped, because I cannot see a reason why she would drive away without no. Daryl. There's no reason. Originally, when I watched the episode, I thought she was driving away. And then I was like, she's, I'm like, why, why I mean, didn't she stop for... For Daryl, like why? Yeah. 
And for a split second, I thought she was driving away, but then I was like, no, why the fuck would she no. do that? Like, it didn't make any sense. Yeah. And um, one other thing that I wanted to mention that you guys were discussing last week uh, when I was gone. Um, this came up. Uh, Umi had mentioned something about uh, there was some talk of uh, potential cannibals showing up at some point. Right. Then this that, that whole conversation you guys had on that uh, triggered something. And I just recently got through playing the Walking Dead uh, season one game. Right. The game takes place in um, a, t a town uh, right on the outskirts of Macon, Georgia. In the, the poster for Terminus, the poster is located just on the outskirts of Macon, Georgia. Oh, shit. So, in the Season 2 game, there was a little farm off to the side, uh, and the, the family were a family of cannibals. And uh, they actually took one of the people in. They chopped their uh, the guy's legs off, cut both in of his season legs two? up. Season one of the game. Season one, okay. Yeah, season one, episode two of the game. Um, oh, okay. And um, they they uh, served the legs up and fed them to the 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 rest of his group. Yeah. Um, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> So, do you guys think that that's something we might be seeing them cross over to on the TV show? Because Glenn was in the game. Yeah, like, Glenn was in the game. So, I think that would Herschel be, was in the game as well. But I think that would be really smart on their part. Yeah, to the crossover, crossover with the video game. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the video game is well written, and I mean, I watched a bit of the play, the like actual gameplay, and it didn't seem that bad. It might have been touchy in some parts, but, I mean, I wasn't playing it. So, I mean, right. um, it does look well done, and it does look like it would cross over very easily. So, I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was one of those moments in the game. There, there's maybe two or three moments in the game where I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> that yeah. was one of them. And, um, yeah, it was, it was really, really... I, I would like to see it cross over to the TV show, and, um... Just the fact that they're they're located in the same areas. Um, Glenn had spent some time with some of the, the survivors in there. It'd be interesting to see some of the, the game characters cross over um, to be on the show. Because they've, they've already done it the other way, as I mentioned, Glenn and Herschel. But we saw Herschel in the game before the survivors met him. Um, and we got to see his, um, his son die in the game and got the whole backstory onto that, how that all happened, which was only referenced... Uh, few times in the show, I know Herschel mentioned it, I know Maggie's mentioned it, I know Beth have mentioned it, like, that they missed their brother and stuff like that. So in the game, we actually get to see him and got that kind of backstory. So that was really cool. So, um, hopefully we'll get some reference to that. I'd, I'd really enjoy seeing it. So I think that about wraps things up. You guys have, uh, anything else you want to add? No, just... Not really. I'm I mean, kind of excited to see Abraham again. Right, that's his name? Yes. Yeah. Guy... With with Glenn, that's with Glenn. Yes. Yep. That troop. I'm kind of excited because he's a pretty compelling character. I'm actually kind of excited to see Rick again, and I never thought I'd be saying this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been so long since we've seen him. I kind of miss him. Yeah. I was just actually, um, John had mentioned that this it's been the longest since we've seen Rick. It's been three episodes. And I was like, uh, this gives credence to my uh, my theory that they're going to kill him off. They're conditioning us to live without him. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think it's going to happen eventually. Or kill Rick off. I don't know. I'd see, them, I'd see them killing Judith before they killed Rick, to be honest. Oh, God. Yeah, well. You know, people, more tears will be shed over losing Judith than losing Rick. And Rick's been in this, this whole series from the very beginning. So that just tells you how much people care about Rick right now. Yeah. Yep. I don't know, like, you ask how far have they gone, like, killing these, these kids, but murdering Judith, something happening to Judith would, would be She's completely different level. Girl. Yeah, it would be a completely different level. Yeah. So, I wouldn't put it past them at some point, just to get people talking. Um, hmm. 
I People want are, you. There's to, enough talk about this show already, and that's without Judas being Judith being killed. This episode right here is probably one of the most talked about episodes of all time. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I want you to, to grow up and be like, to be little badass, to like grow up into this fucking killing machine. Little ass kicker. Little ass kicker, that's what it is. She will be the president after all the walkers are gone, and she'll just take over everything, and she'll be the president. She's going to be the only one that survives. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Everybody else is going <laughs> to die, and it's just going to be Judith crawling away. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how long it's going to take them to uh, progress the story to try to get her to grow up a little bit. Yeah. So, I don't know. Do you think it's all going to depend on what happens at Terminus. And if yes. Do you think if she makes it through the season, uh, if next season we're going to see her maybe as like a little older, like a toddler, like two, three, or are they going to still keep her? Uh, most definitely, I think Hopefully so. Hopefully they'll progress it at least a year. Yeah. Maybe they'll get to Terminus and it'll be fine when they get there. And then it just takes a year to progress and for them to actually notice that this shit is wrong in this little Terminus town. And, you know, you know, walkers are being tort... Who knows what they're going to do? But the I mean, like... Cannibals. Yes, the more cannibals. more I think about it, the more I think Terminus is a bust. And that they get there and Terminus is, is just a crater. Or it's just, you know, abandoned or demolished or whatever. The more the more the time goes on, the, the you know, closer everyone gets. I just think that Terminus is just going to pan out to be nothing. I know they've done it before, but I think, like, I'm getting the feeling that Terminus is something like the scientific facility they found with the one guy in it, where he wanted to kill them all, and they had to blow through the window to get out. The CDC? He didn't want to kill them. He didn't want to, he was gonna, you know, they were inside, and he's like, too bad. He, he let he, them in, and he knew what was going to happen. And he warned them, if you come in, there is no getting out. He warned them. The good old days. The good what? old days. You could have not yeah, let them right? in. Jeez. We're all young and naive. When, oh, they're, when they're only six episodes a season. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> There's, what, six, ten episodes at most? For the, I it think was it was six. six. It was yeah. six episodes. Yeah. And then season two was the we had 12. Yep, and here That's we are, busy. episode 15, going on 16, 17, yeah. and 18. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think that about wraps things up. Um, Omegans, where can the people find you? They can find me on Twitter, at LadyVenom24, L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M-24. They pop up now? Yeah, they pop up, because that's yeah. so cool. That's Chrissy, where can awesome. people find you? You can find me at Cleomoto on Twitter <laughs> and Tumblr and Pinterest, etc. And you can find me on Twitch at the Cleomoto. And you can find me at Phenomenom, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. -E uh, you can follow... Phenomenom. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say bye, you, Melody? You can follow us all on <laughs> tvcaptive.com. Uh, some awesome say stuff bye. coming up in the future. Um, you could also find us on uh, ASO TV podcast on Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> Gmail, YouTube, like, and Google Plus. <laughs> she looks so thrilled. <laughs> she wants to get away so bad. <laughs> no, no, like, no, 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 no. Sorry. So until next week, we will uh, see some cannibals. Maybe. Hopefully. Interesting. Sorry, nom, 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 nom. Nom.